Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on SAP Build Process Automation Training with me Anubhav on SAP Business Technology Platform. In this series of videos, we are learning about SAP Build Process Automation step by step. And as part of the last session, I have taught you and we discussed about creating a Fury application which can then start the uh, this the, which can trigger and start the business process which is deployed in the cloud in our today's session we are going to start a very interesting topic which you all been waiting for how can we automate the data extraction from pdf using automation and integrate the robotic process automation at part as part of our build business process so very interesting session we will understand our pdf extraction scenario which is a real scenario we are also internally using in Anubhav trainings. Then we will talk about creating data type for the decision. We will also understand how to create a decision table, creating the automation to extract PDF data along with the document template. We will then create input and output parameter for automation and extract the data from a PDF document submitted by user. Finally, we will annotate and uh, activate the document template and then build the process automation with the condition and decision and test, deploy and test our final business process, which extracts the data from PDF automatically. Hence, removing the boring work away from the user. So let's start with our practical scenario. So meet Sonia. She is working at Anubhav Trainings Finance Department. So in Anubhav Trainings internally, we have many departments like we have service department, server department, sales department, training department, corporate training department, finance department. So my finance department uh, is responsible for all the finances like incoming and outgoing payments. Their job is to also conduct audit on payments. So every time when we get a student what happens is behind the scene a invoice gets created for every student who buy our training so her job is to actually check these invoices manually and especially the module name which customer bought and the amount which customer paid or supposed to pay in that invoice sometime the invoice is created before the subscription before the student pay the money because they ask us to send invoice. Sometimes the invoice is created after the payment. But the moral of the story is there is an invoice which is created for every course purchase. And she has to validate that if whatever payment is written in the invoice, the same amount has been received in the bank account. If the amount is received in the bank account, then she will approve the invoice. So currently she has to manually open all the invoices created by my sales team, read all the invoice amount, date and the course name and validate the date and amount submitted by sales team manually. So she has to check if the date what the on, on what it was submitted or date which was told by the sales team is matching with the date on the invoice and the amount is matching and it's available in the bank means we received the funds and after that only she approves it so that's a manual work she is currently doing she wants us to automate this process where the sales team will share the invoice details in along with the with the date the customer name the course customer purchased and of course uh, the total amount customer paid and they will send basically the pdf invoice and what our automation should do extract all the details from this pdf and then create a approval work item to sonia where she reviews carefully all the detail extracted from invoice and she will then trigger the approve or reject if approval is done then a student will get a subscription email that congratulations thank you for making payment for our training we have received your uh, payment in our bank account and we are providing you the course access for the training so that is what sonia's job is in our company so you can see she's smiling and asking us to help her 
so we are certainly going to go and help her to design this scenario so i will first show you how does a invoice look like at anubo trainings so i will show a sample invoice the good news is this invoice will be also made available to all of you as part of the study material so you can download this sample invoice and then start working on the same as well so this is a sample invoice where we have our company address logo name yeah then the name of the customer name of the student the email id of the student then the location invoice number date of invoice along with the course name which course they have purchased then the rate of the course the gst the tax amount and after the tax amount what's the total amount that is the thing what we have so this is a simple sample invoice so first we will use this sample invoice to build a document template in our build process we will understand what our template is and how does it work and then we will add a automation on top so let's get started and understand the whole process now when it comes to validating this scenario so what will be my flow of the process as you all know i believe truly in the design first and once my design is finalized and confirmed then i proceed with the rest of the things so what we do is we start the process and the very first thing what we will do in this process it will be a form start where my sales team yeah sales team member will enter all the details like they will enter the location the file path of the invoice they will tell the customer name yeah and the date on which course was purchased by the student so these three things they will input yeah then once this form is submitted then it will actually take this file path and extract and then there will be an automation remember all the manual work is replaced by the robot yeah our automation robot so in this automation we will pass this pdf upload the pdf and extract the details from the pdf that we are going to do then once the information is extracted there will be a condition check which checks if the invoice date which we extracted from automation is matching with the date supplied by the sales team if it matches then we will proceed further if it doesn't match we will end the business process we'll cancel the business process if it matches then only a email or a work item will be gone to sonia so sonia will receive the work item where she will get all the details about the invoice like course name yeah student name date of purchase amount what the amount student pay all this basic details she will get it she will review it and then she decide to either approve or reject if it is approved then a email will sent will be sent to the student if they reject then you know we can also end the workflow there and then there is also an end there so basically this is how we are going to design and develop so you see there is a validation logic to extract the date from the invoice and matching with the date supplied by the sales agent uh, or the service agent and then there is also a matching of amount she will manually check in our uh, bank application bank app that's a manual work she still has to do earlier she were doing a lot of manual work by manually opening the invoice yeah which was a very cumbersome task but now that pro that work we have by uh, we, we have uh, bypassed to the robot the robotic process automation now specifically in this automation it's a very simple step we will first receive the file path so we will upload the invoice and extract the data and this is the where the magic happens so this is done through something called a document template which i will show you once this is done we will pass all the data which was extracted to a variable we will set a local variable in uh, order to just do the testing we can also do a message log to log the data and then we can end the automation so this way it is what we are going to do so in this process we would need to create a data type which will have three properties which is the name and the date and the file path 
for the file that's a data type we need to create then we will also have in this a something called document template now what is document template a document template describes the structure of your invoice so typically there's a logo company name date due date yeah um, then we have uh, customer name customer email id customer address then gst number invoice number due date all that information and then we have line item where we have course name amount gst percentage tax amount total amount and then we have total amount tax amount tax amount and final total so this is a template so sap build process automation rpa component robotic process automation component need to know that where is the date yeah it has to extract date from there it has to extract the customer name from there it has to extract customer email id from there it has to extract uh, probably the amount from here so all these things it need to know actually yeah only then it will be able to understand and do the stuff right so this is why we need the information very often to design and develop our process now i have completed the design of this process with the automation and it is the time to test this automation so we have exactly followed the design and we have completed this automation here with invoice extraction so now as a next step we will test it so during testing you can see this is how it starts so the one of my sales representative let's say kajol she will come and she will now enter the details of the student for the invoice so she sent an invoice and student made the payment and now based on that payment she will enter the details to submit it to my finance team to uh, get the approval so what will happen uh, the, the this is the actual invoice we will be using so there is a student called minakshi for whom the course was sold so minakshi invoice date was uh, 22 01 2025 student email id i will enter yeah i will enter and then file path so where is this invoice it's in my computer so i will enter the file path of this actual invoice so you see this actual invoice file path in my computer so what it does uh, system system will extract all the data validate this date with the date in the invoice this date in the invoice and then if it is okay then it is going to uh, send a uh, send a work item to my finance team for approval and once my finance team which is sonia she will approves it then student which is this minakshi yeah this is student email id will receive an email that congratulations you your payment has been received in our bank account and now you can enjoy the learning of your favorite training courses at unbow trainings cool now so let's click on submit and the the process starts so let's monitor the process now so we go back to sap build lobby monitoring yeah and i will also parallelly open the inbox so we go back to process and instances and there we, we should see now a new work item yeah so monitoring process and instances you should be able to see the new work item and you can see invoice approval it is running now and you can see it has started and now the extraction is ongoing currently yeah it is done with the help of our uh, our robotic process automation our desktop agent make sure your desktop agent 3.0 is running in your machine yeah and you can refresh here the status so once this extraction will be done uh, we should be getting a inbox item over here in just few seconds so let it complete and then we should be getting the invoice item so there you go you can see it has extracted now successfully you can also check whether the agent have received the request or not so go to the system tray agent and here you see events so in the history and the events you can actually always see whether it is receiving the request or not so you see it has started it has received the project request and i can see the jobs so there was a job uh, for extracting invoice data yeah Anubo trainings invoice yeah it has done that and it has completed that in 16 seconds to complete it perfect so now i can come back and see here 
Now often I see also a problem. Sometimes it doesn't work. So you just have to come here and restart your agent. Yeah, you can do that. So once it is done, condition was re reached. So condition fulfilled actually. You see the data which was the provided by sales team was matching with the date which extracted by the by the robot by RP agent. So then uh, a work item should have gone to my email ID. Yeah, I'm the starter for this approval. So let's go back to my inbox application now. And over here we can refresh whether we receive a work item. So this is where my finance team will receive a work item to check whether the uh, you know whether the invoice is authentic and we have received the payment or not. You can also come here to actually click here to this instance ID and then you can see currently it is assigned or not. So it is indeed assigned to my email ID. So I have to just go back and refresh my inbox application. So you can see request for invoice approval for Minakshi. That is the student name. So she has taken a Bapanana training. She has paid this much fees on this particular date. And now is uh, of course my team member from finance team will review this. They will check if this fund was received in the bank account. If it is received, of course, they will go for the approval. So we received the fund from student Minakshi in our account and that was now got approved. So finally, the invoice got approved after validating the payment. So eventually what should happen? Minakshi, which is the student, should receive an email now, an automated email from anubavtrainings.com that uh, she has subscribed to the courses. And there you go. So hello, Minakshi. Welcome to Anubav Trainings. We are glad to receive your payment against this ABAP on HANA module invoice on this date. You can start your learning journey from Trainings. Dot com. So that is how exactly we can design and develop a end-to-end -end workflow when it comes to end-to-end -end process, when it comes to invoice extraction, utilizing the invoice extraction and then uh, taking that data to send approval. So you can also check the automation jobs for the RPA agent here in case you feel that you know certain automation jobs are stuck or they are failing why are they failing you can always go back and check them in the monitoring so that is an additional info i hope you enjoyed this video and you like the content please uh, share and subscribe this channel with your friends and colleagues so they can also learn and understand sap build process automation scenarios with that anubhav signing out thank you for joining see you in the next episode